today, we will see some misconceptions and an interesting question related to unitary method. Misconception 1. A car covers a distance of 50 kilometers in 2 hours. Find out the distance that it will cover in 6 minutes. Many a times, students do not focus on units. They just consider the numbers and perform mathematical operations to get the answer. They simply divide 50 by 2 and get the result as 25. Then they observe that the next number is 6 and multiply 25 with 6 to get the result that is 150. This leads to an incorrect answer and they give option 1. To solve any question, it is a must to consider its units. Here, the distance covered by a car in 2 hours is equal to 50 kilometers. Thus, the distance covered by a car in 1 hour is 50 divided by 2, which is equal to 25 kilometers. Since 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour, therefore, 1 minute is equal to 1 by 60 hours. Similarly, 6 minutes is equal to 1 by 16 to 6, which is equal to 1 by 10 hours. The distance covered by a car in 6 minutes is equal to 1 by 10 into 25, which is equal to 25 by 10, which is equal to 2.5 kilometers. This results in the correct answer, which is option 2. Let's solve an interesting question. A worker takes 13 days leave in the month of March. Due to this, he gets Rs 5,670 as salary at the end of the month. If he does not take any leave in the month of April, then how much salary will he get? This is an interesting question. Let's solve it. In the example, it is given that the worker takes 13 days leave in the month of March. Due to this, he gets Rs 5,670 as salary. Can you tell how we will find out his salary per day? Think for a while. Let me tell you. Here, it will be incorrect to divide 5,670 by 13 because the salary is given according to his working days. The salary of 13 days is deducted because he is on leave. Can you tell how many days he will be paid for? Think about it. You have got it right. There are 31 days in the month of March. Out of these, he has not worked for 13 days. Therefore, at the end of the month, the worker will be paid for 31 minus 13, which is equal to 18 days only. Since salary of 18 days is equal to Rs 5,670, salary of 1 day is equal to Rs 5,670 divided by 18, which is equal to Rs 315. Since we know the salary of the worker per day, we find the salary of April. There are 30 days in the month of April. Thus, April salary is equal to 30 into 315, which is equal to Rs 9,450. That means the worker does not take any holiday in April. He will get a salary of Rs 9,450. Today, we have seen some misconceptions and an interesting question related to unitary method.